Adam Savage here, taking you inside the episodes of Savage Builds. And today's episode will be about the ZF-1, the famous six munitioned gun from the fifth element. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about one of my collaborators in this episode, the actor Gary Oldman, who played Zorg and actually handled that weapon on set. My goal, to build a real world version of this legendary six way threat. Oh my God, do I need to tell you don't try this at home? This thing's getting dangerous. That was so much fun, I'm gonna do it again. The ZF-1 is the egg gun that shoots everything. Flames, ice, arrows, rockets, bullets, and a net. This is such a magnificently beautiful prop. I love this thing. Mwah. Except here's the thing, it's just a prop. It doesn't actually do any of the things it's supposed to in the film. And I wanna make a ZF-1 that can do all that stuff. And in this episode, we built one that worked, worked. No, it really did all of those things to a certain degree. And it was amazing. With the Savage Industries replay button, fire the first round. And all subsequent rounds go to the same location. Yeah! <laughs> The rocket launcher. Oh, it's gonna blow. Arrow launcher. Of course, our famous net launcher. But even more amazing was that I actually got a friend of mine to be on the episode, and that is actor Gary Oldman, who famously played Zorg in the original film, The Fifth Element. Gary is a maker, and we've been friends for years based on, based on our love of making uh, and trading tips and tricks and techniques. And while Gary couldn't come up and be on set, we actually had a wonderful Skype call, which we filmed, uh, in which I told him that what I was about to do, and he walked us through the most amazing process of exactly how he built the character of Zorg. Zorg is not the president, but he's so powerful. Yeah. Um, and if you remember, um, Ross Perot, he used to have that, that, that weird sound, like he used to talk like that. And I thought, so this was an interesting sound, and I didn't want to go the obvious route, Emmanuel Zorg, and make him a Frenchman and so yeah. So I thought, what 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 could I come up with? So and then the and then Luke had this idea where he wanted me to say certain lines, he would give you a line reading because he'd heard, he, he would hear it the way he wanted it. And it was those lines like, um, when he says, oh Zorg, you're a monster. And I say, I know. So uh, I thought, well, who sort of sounds a bit like that? And it was Bugs Bunny. Because, you know, my dad guy. So <laughs> I got Ross Perot and a little bit of Bugs Bunny and I had the two teeth made, the two front teeth like 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 bugs. Yeah. That's where. Oh my God. That's where Zorg. So Zorg is a, 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 a cocktail, a marriage of of Ross Perot and Bugs Bunny. Using guidelines from the director and ideas from culture and weaving them into this thing that becomes the character in the film. I swear, this is like a, a, a one day build, except for actors. That I wanna watch more of that. And I did not know I was gonna get that deep viewpoint into his process when we set up to make the Skype call. It makes the episode even better. And don't get me wrong, it was a fine episode in and of itself. I got to fire a flamethrower more than once. System's going hot. 
flamethrower is a pretty simple device, actually. It's a squirt gun. It's a squirt gun, but you have to add an added device of having it be able to handle volatile fuels and also be able to ignite it and keep the operator from burning up. Fabulous. But having Gary go through how he built Sorg, ugh, it's icing on the cake. Now, the gun might end up being like twice as large as the one you're holding because yeah. I've got to fit all these different yeah. tanks of fuel and compressed air and CO2. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm making a real one. Well, um, thank you for this. You're welcome. It's, guy, it takes me back. It's, uh, it's a gorgeous thing.